As of tonight, there have been just two COVID deaths in Pasco County, a number that thankfully has not changed in the last few days. Aid on Your Side has learned that first victim was 71-year-old Rosemary Gabrielle of Dade City. She died on March 24th, just a few days after she was hospitalized. Aid on Your Side's Victoria Price joins us now live from Advent Health in Wesley Chapel with her story, Victoria. Jen, I'm told that Rosemary didn't immediately come to the hospital because there was a lot of conflicting information about whether she even needed to. Her family says tonight she's not just a victim of COVID, but also of circumstance. I said to her, I still need you, Mom, so please, please fight this. And she said, I know I will. And that was it. I sent another text, and I know she never saw it. That would be the last time Tara Gabriel would ever speak to her mother. A text message before doctors rushed to place the 71 year old on a ventilator. Within a few days, Rosemary Gabriel would become Pasco County's first COVID 19 victim. She was just one of the kindest, most selfless people you could have met. It was that selflessness, Tara says, that led her mother to downplay her symptoms and potentially seal her fate. Rosemary fell ill in early March after visiting her granddaughter in Virginia. She blamed asthma and allergies, but more than a week later, her sister Pat put her foot down. And I said, this is ridiculous. I want to end up calling an ambulance. On March 19th, Rosemary was checked into the hospital and tested for COVID-19. It took five days to get the results back, and by then it was too late. She passed on March 24th. You know, it could have saved my mother's life if, if we had been able to get to her sooner and she had been able to get in sooner. They hope sharing Rosemary's story can save lives, a cautionary tale for potential patients and families to act fast. And while it's all still very surreal for them, they want others to see this outbreak is as real as it gets. Just because it isn't touching you doesn't mean it's not there and doesn't mean it's not going to touch you tomorrow because it could very well. Rosemary was laid to rest yesterday in New York with no family there except for a sister who lives nearby. I'm told they're planning not one but two celebrations of life once everyone's lives get back to normal. Reporting live in Wesley Chapel tonight, Victoria Price, 8 on your side.